Welcome to a free tutorial by WordLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to perform a mail merge using Microsoft Word. What is a mail merge? A mail merge is when you have a list of people and you want to send them all the same letter, but it's customized for each recipient with their name and address. I'm going to show you how to do it inside of Microsoft Word. Here I am inside Microsoft Word at a blank new document. I'm going to click on Tools, Letters and Mailings, and then Mail Merge. The Mail Merge pane appears over to the right and it says what kind of document are you working on. I'll pick Letters, then I'll come down to the bottom and click Next Starting Document. Now it asks how do you want to set up your letters use the current document, start from a template, or start from existing document. Well, we'll just use the current document, that's fine. I'll click Next, Select Recipients. Next, Select Recipients. You can use an existing list if you have one. Let's say you did a mail merge last week, you could use the same list if you want. Select from Outlook Contacts if you have people in Microsoft Outlook that you want to use, or type in a new list. Let's type in a new list. I'll click Create. The little Microsoft Word address list database appears and you can type in your names into here. I'll type in Mr. Richard Rost Word Learning Zone dot com PO Box thirteen oh eight Amherst, New York one four two two six and then I'll hit new entry. Notice how it says total entries in list 2. I'm on the second entry. I can type in a second person who's going to receive my letter. Okay, I've typed in Mrs. Sue Jones, 101 Main Street. I'll click new entry again for a third person. And I'll type in Joe Smith from Hamburg, New York. You can move through the records if you want to edit them with the previous and next buttons and of course the first and last buttons. When you're all done entering in people, click close. Word will ask you to save your address list. It's going to save it in the My Data Sources folder. You can see I have a previous one here. So I'll come down to the bottom and give it a file name, Rick's Mailing List, and then I'll hit save. The next screen that comes up asks if you want to sort by anything. I'll keep it sorted by last name, so I'll click on the last name column. You can sort out any of these columns by simply clicking on the top. I'll click OK. So now the mail merge pane says use an existing list, office address list in Rick's mailing list. OK, looks good. Let's go next, write your letter. And now it says if you've not already done so, write your letter now. Let's assume we haven't written our letter yet. Now what we have to do is we have to insert certain things into our letter so that Word knows where to put the customer's information. The person's name and address, for example. Address blocks, greeting lines, all kinds of different things that can be inserted into the document. Let's go write the letter. Here I am over to the left, and I'll put in my return address across the top, so I'll say ABC Corp. All right, 123 Sky Boulevard. I'm just making something up here. Buffalo, New York, 14220, enter, enter, enter. Next, I want to put the recipient's information. So I'll come over here to the mail merge pane and click on address block. Now when I click on address block, I get this dialog box up. It says insert address block. Insert the name in which format? Well, this one's fine, Mr. Joshua Randall Jr., that's okay. Insert company name if it exists. Insert a postal address. And down here on the bottom is a preview. Everything looks good. The default settings are usually fine for this. I'll hit OK. And now in my letter, I can see this funny thing that says address block. When I finish the mail merge, the person's address will go there. I'll press Enter a couple times, insert the date, and then I'll type in the letter. Dear, and I want to put the person's first name there. So it says Dear Joe, or Dear Rick, or Dear Sue. I'll click on More Items. The Insert Merge Field box appears. And here's a list of all the items you can insert. I'll pick First Name and then click on Insert. 
hit close and now you can see back here in the letter it says dear first name right then I'll continue typing my document comma enter enter it's been a long time since we've seen you in the shop please come in for your free computer checkup okay I just type in something simple you can type in a full letter if you want on the bottom I'll put cordially you know Bill Smith or whoever is writing the letter and now my letter is basically done. Now I'll come down to the bottom right and click Next, Preview Your Letters. Now you can see here where the address block was, there's Sue Jones and her address. I can hit these little buttons here to cycle through the different recipients. Right, and notice it says Dear Joe on the bottom down here. Right, this one says Dear Richard, and so on. There's Dear Sue. Each letter is customized for each person in the database. Now the last step, come down here, it says next complete the merge. I'll click on that. And here we can either print out the letters as they are or click on edit individual letters. If you click on edit individual letters, it'll merge all those together into one new document where each letter is on its own page. And if you want to go in there and customize things, maybe you want to put a postscript on and tell certain people certain things, you can do that. Or you can just print the letters as they are. And so that is the basics of doing a mail merge in Microsoft Word. Now you've learned only the basics of doing a mail merge in Microsoft Word. That's enough to get started, but there's tons more that you can do with a mail merge. There are all kinds of custom fields and settings and things you can change in your mail merge, different ways you can manipulate the data. And I cover all these different options in my Microsoft Word 201 full tutorial. Word 201 is a 90 minute tutorial that covers everything you ever want to know about mail merge in Word. I'll show you how to do all these different options. I'll show you how to use an Excel spreadsheet to get your names and addresses from or even a Microsoft Access database. I'll show you how to set that up as well. I'll teach you how to work with multiple lists how to perform a mail merge into mailing labels or even envelopes. And of course I'll even show you how to use your Microsoft Outlook contacts to perform a mail merge with. You can find out lots more information about this tutorial on my website at wordlearningzone.com. Now if you're interested in purchasing any of my tutorials, go to this special page wordlearningzone.com slash YouTube to get a 25% discount on any courses you purchase.